Hey folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and it's Wee Wednesday again. That's what we're looking at today. Now that looks pretty odd, doesn't it? Well, it's a slip joint by Fura called the Hornbill. So we've got a pivot right there. So it's a very, very simple knife. We've got this blue uh, anodized titanium TC4 class. You can get it in blue. You can get it in gray, like the blade, or you can get it in colorful, which is sort of a rainbow-esque kind of anodization. And then we've got an S35VN blade in sort of a modified chisel kind of uh, Warncliffe type of blade. Very interesting little thing. So if you like wee knives, like we like wee knives, you'll want to stick around for this little review. And if we don't like wee knives, like we like wee knives, then it's time for you to begin to like wee knives, like we like these wee knives. So stick around. <laughs> Let's begin with a little bit of a size comparison. I don't usually do this, but on this wee little knife, maybe it's time. Well, first off, you can see the size comparison with my hand. <laughs> That's a wee little knife. Here's a Bic pen, which you probably have in almost every country of the world. We have pens anyways. So yeah, there you go. And here is a San Remu 7010. If you don't own a San Remu 7010, you're not a true knife enthusiast. Okay, I take that back. If you don't own a San Remu 7010, you need to, because knife enthusiasts need to know about this knife. If you're just totally against it because it's a copy of a Sebenza, okay, I understand that. But this knife is a very well-made knife that uh, is a super low price. It costs like a, a third of the price of this knife. <laughs> but there you go. This is a small folding knife. My hands are large, bordering on extra large. You can't even see the handle in there. <laughs> it's uh, not even a three inch blade. <laughs> so it's huge compared to this little guy. Here's a bottle cap. So, you know, you can hide most of it under a bottle cap. Two bottle caps are going to hide this thing completely. No problem. This is a very small knife. And it's a fun little knife. It's not a hard-working knife. It's not, you know, it's a toy, to be honest with you. This is... Like some of the other knives I've talked about, some of the bigger knives, some fixed blades I've called fantasy knives. This is sort of a fantasy folder, if you will. A wee fantasy folder. And for the life of me, I've been racking my brain trying to remember, brain, trying to remember what this style of um, slip joint is called. You know, when you got part of the tang of the blade coming up over the handle so that when you grab it, you're holding the back end of the, the, the blade so that it won't close on you while you're using it. That style of mechanism has got a name. I've, for the life of me, I've totally forgotten what that name is. So I've mentioned the steel types before. Let's get the measurements out of the way, and then we can talk about the other details. So a cutting edge, totally straight across. We've got 2.5 centimeters, just under one inch of cutting edge. It's 0.985, I think, of an inch. And the total blade length, and I measured it this way, so from the end of the handle here to the tip of the blade, is just under 3 centimeters. That's 1.16 inches. The blade thickness is 2.93 millimeters, so 3 millimeter blade. That's 0.1155 of an inch. I'm not giving you a thickness behind the grind measurement because this is a weird, weird knife. You've got a chisel grind here, and then you've got the final grind on the back. Yeah. See, it's flat, and then it's got the final grind. 
interesting, but it's functional and it does work. It actually cuts half decent. Uh, handle length. So I measured it on the back here. Handle length is four centimeters. That's 1.58 inches. Grip area, I'm just going to call it the same thing. Uh, the handle thickness, so I measured that right here, is 5.7 millimeters, which is 0 0.224 inches. Total length of the knife open, just barely under seven centimeters. That's two and three quarters of an inch. It weighs 19 grams. It's 0.65 of an ounce. So just over half an ounce. <laughs> it's a light little thing. How much is this thing going to cost you? U.S. dollars, it's eighteen thirty-three Canadian dollars right now at Gearbest, 23.63. Uh, Euros, 15.59. And pounds sterling, 13.8. And you can get about at least a 10% discount if you buy it in December if you use the coupon code that I've got in the description below. And if I can find better coupon codes, I will. But you can get at least 10% off of that price. So instead of 1833, you're talking, what is it? You're talking 1670 or something US. Well, not that bad. It's getting better. We've got some really deep jimping for the size of the knife. You know, that's some really aggressive jimping, isn't it? <laughs> On that handle. So your thumb really sits in there quite well. And you hold it like this. You can get two fingers mostly. And your thumb on there and that's a fairly secure grip to do some minor cutting it certainly works for well way over half of your edc tasks because way over half of your edc tasks are things like opening envelopes and opening boxes when you're just barely cutting through a thin layer of cardboard or tape even only so this thing can certainly do that drop it in your pocket and away you go some of the flaws on this thing i wish that this pivot was a bit tighter or that they had built in a detent or something that would hold it closed. Because right now there's no detent at all. It just either is closed or open and it slides with the same force all over the place. So again, no detent really. So this is more of a knife that uh, you might keep on the corner of your desk, maybe by your pen cup or, or something. It's certainly um, not something that's going to be scary in your office. <laughs> People are going to see that and say, oh, that's cute. What's that? Um, it's small enough that uh, you can take it on a jet, at least in Canada and most of the world, but not the United States. Uh, we can now take knives that have a blade length of six centimeters or less on uh, airplanes and jets in Canada. That just changed. You've got a hole there, which doesn't really have a useful purpose. You, you don't need it to open it or close it. I guess it takes a little bit of weight off and it looks okay. <laughs> so how does it cut? Well, let's try some cutting. Got some paracord here. Two layers of uh, seven strand paracord. Let me get a good grip of it and watch this. Just cuts right through, no problem at all. You got some paper and you can cut straight down into it if you want to. Because I sharpened it on my TS Prof sharpening system, and it's so easy to make a blade super sharp with that thing. And uh, you know, you can cut this way as well. You can hear how fine that cut is. Quite sharp, cuts quite well. Let's pull out my cutting board. And so you can cut through that way very easily. No problem at all. Straight down. And you, know, you could even cut wood if you want to. It's really hard to get a good enough grip to do it. But if you do, you know, that chisel grind just cuts super, super well. And it's a super smooth finish right there because it's so super sharp. Let's see if we can cut something as strong as this wire. Get a good grip on it. And are we on screen? There we go. Yep, 
cut right through. No problem cutting through that stuff. And that's a wire that's got uh, four copper wires inside and some sheathing and stuff. It's from a uh, heavy duty USB cable for a webcam. So I probably should have chose a different background because it's almost the exact same color as the uh, blue on the knife. Let's put my hand there. So you've got a nice little knife. You've got a pivot that's got some washers in it, just regular little washers. I'm going to take that apart and show you a picture of the inside. That's what I'll do. So you can see exactly what those are like. So again, it's just a simple little knife. You know, you got a shape in there that it locks into the handle. Well, not locks, locks the wrong word. It holds into the handle. You grab it like this. You can cut with it. You can do a pinch grip like this and open all kinds of little stuff with it um, and use it for all kinds of little tasks. It's super easy to sharpen because you've got a flat edge and you only have to sharpen one side. Do a little stropping and it's beautiful. You've got a nice tip if you need to uh, cut something with that point. It's a cute little knife. If you're into wee knives, here you go. If you're not yet into wee knives, maybe you should consider starting a collection of small knives, especially if you've got a small space, not much room for storage. Uh, wee knives are, I think they're really cool. You've got a really nice texture on there. It looks good, feels good. Um, it's a special knife. I really like it. Fit and finish. It's done very well. There's no flaws. There's no big problems. Um, if you even want to, you can get it embroidered on the embroidered. <laughs> you could get it engraved if you wanted to on the back there. That would make it kind of special as a gift for somebody. I really enjoy this knife. I carry it around a fair bit. I usually leave it in my coin pocket. And so that way it's not going to open up and cut anything else. I just am careful when I reach down in there to grab it. So there's the knife, tiny little knife, 0.65 of an ounce. Not bad at all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up down there. Even if you don't like the knife, you know, it's the quality of the video for the thumbs up. And if you want to buy this knife, Please use the links that are in the description below. If you're on a computer, just straight down here, just above the comments, it says show more. You click on that. If you are on a cell phone, then down in this corner, just below the video, there's a little black triangle. You click on that and then you can get into the video description area and uh, find all the links and everything and the coupon code and all that other good stuff. And maybe you want to click the playlist and watch all of my Wee Knife videos. Thanks so much for sticking around. We'll see you next time, guys. Remember, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.